I can't imagine this being unwilling when you really <laughs> Mr. Dilworth, the police. Radio younger. <laughs> By favors, you mean the use of uniform police? That is right. <laughs> what do you mean by the consequences? What do you have in mind as possibilities? Um, I don't think we can contemplate, really. Consequences, in particularly in terms of the, uh, the necessary strengthening of the relationship between school people and students, and insofar as the uh, the whole strength and relevancy and viability of the curriculum. Um, I think we've seen um, in recent months, in other places, uh, at other times, the consequences of. Uh, of a complete breakdown among various uh, segments and elements within the community. Um, and I think uh, further escalation along those lines is, uh, is going to result in very serious consequences to the, to the community. And I think uh, it's time for, um, for continued communication, com uh, continued conversations, and um, and a holding to the processes of reason uh, in working through the, the important concerns with, um, um, with an alienated, uh, and at this point, uh, an activated uh, young people. Dr. Shedd, one of the demands made outside, at least, by some of the demonstrators was for an all-black school board. Was that mentioned inside? No, it was not. The only reference that was made was that um, a nine-member Board of Education in a community where the public school population runs to 60 percent um, should have a membership of more than two Negro members on the board. There was, <clears throat> to the best of my recollection, not a call for an all-black school board. But they they did voice the uh, uh, the opinion and the concern that two members out of the nine was not a sufficient representation uh, as far as they are concerned. How do you propose to deal with the RAM organizations within the high schools? Uh, the um, the RAM organizations themselves and their members and representatives. Uh, as such, uh, we have had uh, no direct con I have had no direct conversations with or, or dealings with. Um, my concern is that um, in dealing directly with uh, concerned representative and uh, what I consider to be responsible uh, students, weren't the uh, from the various schools today? of the, <clears throat> the people that uh, that we must talk with. Uh, in order to uh, convey to the entire student body that, uh, that we are ready and willing to, to deal with responsible students. What the RAMs involved in today's demonstration, sir? Um, I am not aware of um, membership by people with whom I was talking today, of membership in the RAM organization. That may well be. That I don't know. But... Um, uh, I have no intention of dealing with um, with the RAM organization as an organization. Have no intention whatsoever of doing this. <clears throat> My meeting today was, if there were members of RAMs uh, of the RAM organization in the group, it was not with the RAM organization that uh, that I was uh, dealing with. This group today seemed to have been led by adults. Uh, did you seem to notice this? And if so, what was your reaction to it? There were adults there. My interpretation of uh, the influence on the discussions of the adult members was to uh, to channel the conversation and um, to um, 
uh, to assist the students in the presentation of their concerns. Uh, there was not, a <coughs> there was not in evidence uh, during the course of the meeting uh, a real indication that uh, that the leadership of the presentation was being carried by adults. Quite to the contrary, by students. No, you were talking about outside the building, and <coughs> you were talking about inside. The and dealing directly enough with the things that are of their real concern. 